Saturday the 16th of March 2024. This is going to be a busy day at Carlisle. 5043, the Great Western Railway's 1936 built castle class Earl of Mount Edgecombe is making her first appearance here since 2017, hauling the Shack Mountaineer from Birmingham New Street. Whilst the Southern Railway's Battle of Britain class Light Pacific 34067 Tangmere, very much irregular these days, is arriving with the Winter Cumbrian Mountain Express from London Euston. The Birmingham train had maintained excellent time to Preston, where, for some as yet unknown reason, it lost nearly an hour. The London train departed Euston 15 minutes late and proceeded to lose further time along the way. As we shall see, it arrived at Carlisle only four minutes behind the Earl, and so features very little in this video. The London train slipped in almost unnoticed, but the crowds surrounding it made any attempt to get near it pointless. The Earl had travelled up from Carnforth with no diesel on the rear, but a light diesel following along behind. The footplate crew told me that they would be taking the entire train down to Upperby, but the powers that be had other plans. Whilst 47773 was coupling up to the rear of the train, presumably to haul it off to Upperby Depot, the other train slipped smartly out of the station and bagged the spot at Upperby. Well, she was booked to leave 50 minutes earlier than the Earl and did have lost time to make up. Can't be too late getting away because she's got a long journey ahead of her. We were all taken by surprise when the Earl hauled her train out to the north end of the station and reversed the stock back into track A.
see there's somebody half a mile on the platform who keeps getting in the picture and blocking. But he's totally unaware of the fact he doesn't even know I'm here, he's so far away. Whilst Tangmuir took the conventional route down the main line to Upperby Depot, the Earl is taking the longer way via the Maryport and Carlisle to Currock Junction, then back by Bog Junction to access the depot by way of the curved track running beneath the main line. whilst the backup diesel manoeuvres to get behind the empty stock for the return journey. Serviced, watered and reversed, Tangmere returns with the Winter Cumbrian Mountain Express ready to tackle the long haul over Aysgill to Hellefield, Blackburn and Preston, where diesel traction will take over for the long run south to London.
Remarkably, despite the earlier delays, Tangmir departs only two minutes behind schedule. And now I must resist the temptation to indulge in coffee and head for my launching pad to film the other train from the air. I'm still approaching the site when I spot the Earl returning to the station. Let's get the drone into the air. If only I'd remembered to press the record button. All of these trains were filmed closely from the air, but since I hadn't pressed that vital button, we'll have to settle for what the ground-based camera got. It was only there to record the soundtrack. Five O Four Three hauls the empty stock up to the Maryport and Carlisle line in order to reverse it into Platform Three to collect her passengers. Fortunately, I discovered my mistake in time to record the departure for Birmingham.
and as the drone returns to its launching pad, we catch a glimpse of 47773 setting off to follow the train. The intention is that the diesel will take over at crew, probably hauling Earl of Mount Edgecombe as well as the coaches. After struggling with the crowds who have come to view the two foreigners, thanks for watching. Here's to the next time.